Hey, what's hey. up, Mike? <laughs> what's going on, Mike? Yeah, that, Mike. You're in high definition, though. Okay. Is that good or bad? Oh, that's a very good thing. <laughs> That means uh, when you watch YouTube videos or whatever, you know how sometimes, like when we watched that Jeremiah Weed video, yeah. it was in widescreen, yeah. it filled the whole player. Well, that's what's going to happen now. I figure I can do that at least with one short video anyway. But, uh, well, what's on your mind? Yeah, not a whole lot. Are you, are you feeling hungry, confused, lost, drunk, hungover, <laughs> <laughs> scared? <laughs> you feel like the train left you? <laughs> you know what I did? <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I think it's just kind of sad that today's our grand finale day yeah. for this trip. Yeah, it is. What do you think you're going to remember most about about everything? What are you going to take with you the most? Yeah. Probably like seeing the Goonie Hunt yeah. and then the King Art Cup building. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely me too. You think people will enjoy the documentary at least that we made, or do you think it was a waste of our time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty good. But yeah, oh, I did too. I mean, I, I think it was worth our every every moment that we put into it, and uh, now it's almost over. Well, the documentary's been over for a couple of days. But <laughs> yeah. This figure we make a, a bonus video since. We haven't really recorded in HD in a long time, and yeah, you know, high definition is a lot better than this standard definition, yeah. you know. Now, if only if I could record in 3D, you know, and it'd be like you could throw this can literally at me, and it'd be like you actually literally hit me with a can. <laughs> like, boy, that, that is 3D. Uh, so, let's see, was there anything over this vacation that you didn't like at all? Like, pretty much like everything. Like what things did you want to do if we could have stayed longer? Well, Cause I don't think I, I don't think I've asked you that. I don't think I asked you that in the documentary. I don't think so. No. So what do you think? Well, it was like this is it. Maritime Museum I wanted to see. Okay. And then of course, swimming. You wanted to do swimming. We yeah. Didn't do that. Yeah. We're gonna make up for that on Thursday though. Payday. Yep. Payday Thursday. We'll go swimming on Thursday. I know it's still this, the American uh, pool and it's like, oh, ooh. <laughs> that pool actually looked pretty nice over the one in Astoria because they had a water slide and everything. They had like four, three or four different pools or whatever it looked like. The only reason why we couldn't do it is because we had, you know, we were, it took us a lot longer to get to the, the column than we thought. You know? Had it not taken that long and we would have just went the shortcut or could have got a ride or something. Yeah. We would definitely have gone swimming, you know. But I guess sometimes you can't win them, join them, I guess. But um, then, yeah, I was hoping to do an interview with that. Attention, sleeper attendants, if you could please make your way to the dining car for the event. Sleeper attendants, please come to the dining car. <laughs> Is that the voice of God? Or, or <laughs> anyway, so I was going to do that interview with. Uh, Mick Alderman, uh, I just I bought a copy of his book, and he said that, you know, well, it was kind of a short notice thing anyway, so, so we weren't able to do it, but I hope maybe later on, after I read his book, that maybe we'll do, get to do an interview or something, that'd be kind of fun. What do you think? Shoot his bald head. <laughs> Look, there's a bald ego, bald ego, kids. <laughs> hey, why not, you know? Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's see. So now that we're almost home, what's on your mind? <laughs> we should go visit Cat. <laughs> yeah, let's go wake her up. I'm sure she's hung over somewhere. By the time she sees us, she'll probably be still hung over, probably. <laughs> You just never know, I guess. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so what do you think about your first experience riding the train like, here and back? Now you've been on it twice, though. Yeah, I think it was pretty fun. Yeah? Even though you you still look like you're a little Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had a good breakfast today. Yeah. yeah. What'd you have? I 
French toast. Yes, but you had a different type of French toast. You didn't just have regular French toast. You had Mickey Mouse in your French toast. No. <laughs> Mickey Mouse? Oh, no, that's pancakes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they all Mickey Mouse. They, yeah. they, they, they do that with pancakes or whatever. No, you had French toast, like with, what, what was it, powdered sugar or something like that? And yeah. Syrup and sausage and everything. Yeah. And, and coffee. I got him to drink coffee finally. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't even touch it. He wouldn't even look at it. It's just like, ugh, I just thought he would look at it. <laughs> but then I had, uh, some, uh, it was like an egg omelet and what was it, like red bell peppers and everything. It was good. Very good stuff. Sausage and potatoes. It was like almost eating at a five star restaurant kind of. Yeah. It's probably one of the best breakfasts we've had since we've been on this journey because the hotel that we stayed at was, was okay, but it just, the breakfast kind of sucked. Would you agree on that? Yeah. Do you think they could have had a lot more? Yeah, I think they should have added a lot more. What do you breakfast. What do you think they were, What do you think they should have added to the menu? Like, probably like scrambled eggs. Yeah. Or they could have at least did like maybe muffins or rolls or something. Like yeah. That. And do you think maybe like biscuits and all that too? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. What did they have? What do we have? You like cinnamon raisin bread or something like that, or yeah. cinnamon bread and like, like a cheesecake dish or something like yeah. that. It was good, but you know, they, or what they should do is like they should like make it different every day yeah. if they're gonna do breakfast. If they're yeah, gonna make like I a think make like a cheap breakfast, you know, like have eggs one day, oatmeal yeah. one day, you know. So I know they do that with their soups and everything. It's not always the same soups every day. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Is that the voice of God? <laughs> Again. Again, in a female voice? Well, you know, he can change all types of voices, you know. So if it is him, good job, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did show you a documentary there, didn't I? Yeah. A Goonie documentary. What do you think about that? I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, they, it took him seven, Ron Pat, seven years to finish it. And the only reason why is because they had a, they had to, uh, find everybody. They want to find every, everybody in the movie that they could find to, to interview. With you and I, it was just spontaneous stuff. <laughs> we didn't really expect to do, see any, we didn't know what we were going to do. It's just all, nothing was scripted or anything, you know, well, besides the ending. The ending was kind of planned, but that was about it, though. Nothing else was planned. We had no idea we'd be on a, like, a 14-mile hike or whatever up a trail or down a trail just to get to the column. So... Let's see what else can say with us, because this is probably going to be the last video I do for the rest, for the rest of the month. <laughs> you know, Mike, as much as you like to talk, you should get on the intercom. I like sing them a song or something. <laughs> get on your harp and follow, get that Marachi band going. <laughs> Tell them to play some ZZ Top and drink some beer my week. <laughs> uh, they probably won't get the reference. Anyway, so I said this will probably be the last video I make probably for the rest of the month until uh, until summertime, until June. So I deserve a little bit of break now after all the filming that we've done. And, and so, well, thanks for being a part of the, the documentary and stuff, and I hope we, uh, hope, it, hope people, a lot of people check it out, because it's not the end of it. I'm probably going to put it on DVD. I probably, I think I've decided to probably still do that, now that I've seen what it looks like, and I just got to get somebody that can help me, that knows how to do that stuff, and to put it like on a menu so it'll work on everybody's DVD player. So, all right, Mike? All right. So... I guess this is the last time we'll see you on camera for a long time, probably, huh? Yeah. Until we do a, maybe another round of town adventure or something. Maybe next time we go to Grand Forks or Fargo or wherever. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed being on the camera. <laughs> Spotlight's pretty much been on you the whole time. <laughs> and now you're in HD, so yep. you'll be all colorful with your yellow shirt and your big nose. Or yeah. Hawk, Hawk. Hawk, Hawk. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.